Well, that's the former Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the 1922 Parliament. Committee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the Queen. <laughs> no, that's Andrea Leadsom. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... At time of recording, who's Prime Minister? Uh, Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is currently Theresa May. Oh, right, of course. But how bad have things got for Theresa May? There's been another cabinet revolt. She won't even see her main ministers. She's now got a, a cabinet of two, herself and her husband. Uh, <laughs> even he's walking out. Uh, <laughs> everyone's gone. Andrea Leadsom's gone, you saw there. Do you know what number Andrea Leadsom is on the resignation list under... Theresa May. How many have gone? 36. She's the 36th minister. There's a, there's a graph from the BBC. A graph on a comedy show? This is not <laughs> <a third>. <laughs> <laughs> This is a graph of ministerial resignations before Theresa May, and here it is with Theresa May on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Theresa May's a plan to end the Brexit deadlock. According to the Sunday Times, Philip May's emphasis has shifted to hoping his wife can escape from number 10 with dignity. Sorry, Phil, but however she finally goes, Colonel Gaddafi left with more dignity. <laughs> Quite right. Brexit has clearly put a strain on Theresa May's marriage, but there's no way they're split up, as Philip May knows negotiating a divorce deal would take years, and he'd need the support of Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> According to The Telegraph, MPs are sitting in the longest parliamentary session since the English Civil War. Or, as future historians will call it, English Civil War won. <laughs> 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 the director of the Paris Archdiocese, uh, Philippe de Couverville, told The Times, we tend to wait for things to become catastrophic before we take care of them. Uh, to which uh, Theresa May replied, oh, you too. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to know what the mm. members of the Cabinet are thinking, you have to watch Newsnight yes. and listen to Nicholas Watt. I said to one cabinet minister, why is the prime minister holding a vote when she's pretty sure that she's going to lose? And using very strong language, this cabinet minister said to me, fuck knows, I'm past caring, it's like the living dead in here. Oh. <laughs> Following a tense meeting of the 1922 committee, evidence emerges as to who et Sir Graham Brady's donut. <laughs> Rees-Mogg was obviously very appalled by all this, uh, but he does have his Facebook supporters group mm. oh, to dear. boost his morale. Have you seen his Facebook? No, well, it, it's actually been outlawed because it's based in Broadmoor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at this illuminating <laughs> forum. Just for interest's sake, are there any young folk on this site? <laughs> yes, I'm 55. <laughs> what has Boris done for the second time in six months? Nothing. <laughs> Gone home in the same direction? <laughs> Finally. 72-year-old becomes the oldest competitor in what? Uh, Young Conservatives' leadership. <laughs> 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 so this is the news that scientists have released the first ever picture of a black hole. Theresa May is very excited about this because it's a whole new entity out there with which we might do a trade deal in due course. <laughs> <laughs> And she's just glad there's another despairing vortex sucking in all human life and light <laughs> and, and from which there is no escape. <laughs> so as the good ship Teresa sinks slowly beneath the waves, who are the latest Tories to thrust themselves forward? Oh, I don't like that expression. I don't think anybody in the Tory party can thrust. I don't think they've got their own hips. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone who's been elected ever as a Tory thinks I could do a better job than Theresa May. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> um, I think you have to have a photo shoot in your kitchen to get into the race. Yes. This is uh, James Brokenshire. Here he is. With his smeg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a lovely That's kitchen. him. I know. And he's Count got... the ovens, Tom. Count the ovens. Four... <laughs> Four ovens. That we know of. There could be more. There could be more that come... <laughs> George Eustace, who quit as farming minister in February. So let's see a colleague in the Scottish Parliament's alarmingly frank assessment of him. I personally have met with Andrea Leddison and I've had two meetings with George Eustace. A uh, Eustace. <laughs> for... <laughs> Evidence emerges to show why agreeing even the most basic of trade deals has taken Liam Fox such a long time. Gavin Williamson walking, which is something he's not denying. 
And that's a brilliant bit of dramatised leaking. Yeah. Oh, Helen Mirren's stuck for work. She's... <laughs> <laughs> Gavin Williamson has been fired for allegedly leaking secrets, but he swears on his children's life that it wasn't him. And uh, he has been fired by Theresa May, which is unusual because she, she loves not firing people. Mm. She's a big fan of just letting people stay, Chris Grayling. Um... <laughs> Normally, you know, if you sacked your defence secretary, it would be three volumes of a history book. But <laughs> with this government, yeah, all right, he's gone. <laughs> uh... Theresa May seems so definite that he did it that I'm assuming he didn't. <laughs> This is the news that Gavin Williamson has been sacked as Secretary of State for Defense over the Huawei leak. As The Guardian put it, Williamson is the first cabinet minister to go for a leak since 1986. <laughs> How has Williamson responded? He oh. accused her of ingratitude. <laughs> he said, I've saved your career twice, as though anyone's going to be grateful for that. <laughs> yeah, that, that does mean prison, I think. <laughs> I think maybe he did it, he just didn't realise. Cos he seems very adamant that he did not do it. Yeah. If you're going to swear on your children's life, that's... Yeah, I don't think we should hold him to that. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, he said it, Andy, oh. he said it. He's... Well, it's fine, though, he doesn't have any kids. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Not anymore. Or he won't. <laughs> Johnny, yeah. you were in the army. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. sit on that committee. Is this a good idea? Yeah. No, I mean, it doesn't sound great, but the people who know this stuff seem to think it's all right, but, you know... You don't sound totally lukewarm, even. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my political vim and vigour is on its last legs, I think. Much like uh, the government. The rest of the <laughs> Has anything happened? Well, she's been to Brussels, um, and everything yeah, has changed. Yeah, that happens every week. <laughs> People say, oh, we missed Brexit Day, March the 29th. It's not happened. But if you listen to what they're saying in Brussels, they say, well, actually, we might give you another extension and we can still have a Brexit Day. And there are some people there who think, well, let's have it every year, every <laughs> single March the 29th. <laughs> Theresa May or somebody like her will trot yeah. off to Brussels and say, we'll have another 12-month extension yeah. and Brexit will still definitely be happening, uh, but we'll just sort of... Yeah, you know... and we could tell everyone we've left and then just not mention it again. Exactly. <laughs> but Halloween, you know, is the next cut-off. Is Do you think that was a joke years. by the I Europeans? Think it, was, it was a very I good joke. I think it was joke. a joke. But you've got Tory MPs going around saying, ah, oh, well, we must dress up as something for Halloween, you know. Um, How about, about as MPs? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Theresa Mayhem in her £900 <laughs> coat. There she is, flying off to Brussels to be told what to do and say and think. Uh, the real Prime Minister. <laughs> On the left. <laughs> the traitor's kiss. <laughs> the Politburo, or is that Bexley Heath Council? Um, <laughs> and a man on a bike. Um, <laughs> what are the rival camps calling Jeremy Hunt? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Apparently, Jeremy Hunt is called Theresa in Trousers. Or Tit, for short. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how Liz Truss dealt with the question on LBC? No, but I can't wait. What do you think of having another EU referendum? A very, very, very bad idea. But people can change their minds, can't they? But they were told in the referendum in 2016 that their vote would be implemented, and the reality is the vote needs to be implemented. But you what about the people who like changed the answer, their minds between then and people. now? I don't think people have changed their minds. Everyone you I have. speak to... I have, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> who are you backing in the Conservative leadership election? There isn't one. There isn't a Conservative leadership Should election. there be one in the near future, if that's something we can... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. What are they doing running around trying to get each other's votes, then? You're not going to believe this, but some of my colleagues are slightly more fixated with their own careers than, um, than, than what's going on in Brexit. I know now, that shock. is shocking. Right. <laughs> uh, absolute shock. So, um, yeah, some people are running around trying to be um, Prime Minister at a time of national crisis. Including Mrs May. <laughs> <laughs> Theresa yeah. May may still have support among the grassroots outside the Westminster bubble. How did she get on in Wales this week? Oh, she got heckled. Yes, yeah, she did, didn't she? Yep, she made a speech to local party activists. Everything went well for the first five seconds. <laughs> then... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and... Uh... Why don't you resign? <laughs> 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 Thank 
Evelyn Hondar. <laughs> well, she's a bit of Welsh there. I think she knows how to say what a knobhead in Welsh, so that's <laughs> handy.